Hello, my name is Sharice Caldwell, and today I'm going to show you how to apply material using Katia Live Rendering. I'm going to come down to the Apply Material button, and I'm going to select the material that I would like to use. Hit the check mark once I'm done. To have full control over where my material goes, I'm going to apply my material, then use my Up and Down Material tab within my Tools palettes. Next, what I'm going to do is I'm going to now add a glass material. I'm going to right click, hit apply. Right click again, go to edit material properties. And here I have an options of the type of material I would like to use. For glass, I can use colored glass or frosted glass and be able to change the color. There's also several other types within the drop-down menu that you can choose from, anywhere from car paint all the way up to plastic, a matte plastic. Once I'm done, I'm going to hit the check button. I'm going to continue to add material. To start and stop live rendering, there's a start and stop live rendering button. To remove material, it's fairly easy. You right click and hit remove material. Now I'm going to show you how to create material. Within Katia Live Rendering, you have two options when creating material. And today I'm going to show covering material. And you can enter in how many materials you would like to add or create. Hit OK. I'm going to right click, hit apply, select my surface. Now I'm going to right click and go back into edit material properties. When you're creating material, you have two choices for covering. You have basic material and complex material. Basic material pretty much gives you just the basics along with being able to add images in for texture. As long as you have a image file, you can create textures. Complex material gives you a lot more control over how you're creating your material. And that's Katia Live rendering on how to add material.